Kia ora and welcome to the short video on balancing combustion reactions using this ChemTeach simulation. Now in a combustion reaction you need an alkane um, as a fuel, it could be an alkene, any hydrocarbon, so we've got methane. Meth because it's got one carbon, ane because it's got only carbon, hydrogen, single bonds. Now a combustion reaction always has oxygen um, that it has to react with and if it's complete combustion it'll always form carbon dioxide and water. So there we have our general equation, but you'll notice that the number of atoms are not balanced, only the carbon ones are. So to add more hydrogen, because I've only got four there compared to two here, the only molecule that has hydrogen is water. So the only way I can increase the number of hydrogens on the right hand side is by adding another water molecule. And you'll see that it is both, they now both have four hydrogen atoms. With oxygen, I have four on the right hand side, but only two on the left. So the way I can add more oxygen on the left is by adding another oxygen molecule, which always comes in the form of O2. And now I have a balanced equation. One CH4 plus two O2 goes to one CO2 plus two H2O. So let's try this again, and we can either use that or we can just simply do a refresh. So I'm going to now use not methane anymore. If you click on this little arrow here, if it goes dark, it goes to ethane. And again, combustion, I have to add oxygen because otherwise it won't burn. And for complete combustion, I get carbon dioxide and water. Now if you have a look, you can see that nothing has been balanced. So always start with carbon, then hydrogen, then oxygen. So I can balance the carbons by adding another carbon dioxide. To, next step is to balance the water. So I add more, uh, sorry, to balance the hydrogen. So I do that by adding more water. And I now need to add one more to get six hydrogens on each side. If you have a look, you'll see that we now have seven oxygens on the left hand, right hand side. And we cannot get an odd number on the left hand side because the only way we can add oxygen is by adding O2, which is an even number, and there's no other source of oxygen. So we have to now add more of the other um, substances. So I've added now another ethane. So I now have two of them. So I now have to add more carbon to balance this. So we've balanced our carbons. But you can see we are still short of hydrogen. So we um, add water, it's gone to 8, now it's 10, now it's 12, so we've balanced that, and we've got 14. So if it's 14 and each oxygen molecule has two um, oxygen atoms in it, I'm going to need seven oxygen molecules. So that's one, now adding the second one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and it is now balanced. So just as a tip, remember, when you play with this, um, you can use a recycle, uh, the recycle, the bin there to clear it up or press the refresh screen, um, and you can see what happens when you burn alkenes, if you like. So always balance your carbon atoms first, then your hydrogen, then your oxygen. The only way you can balance the hydrogens is by adding water molecules, because that's the only source where we find hydrogen in our product. And to balance the oxygens is um, by adding O2 molecules. You can't just add an O atom, it has to be in the form of a molecule. So have a play with this if um, you are able to use, uh, if your computer is able to use this 
little simulation and play around with it. It's a good visual um, representation of balancing equations. Goodbye.